Well, I'm joined now by DW's Moscow correspondent, Emily Sherwin, and uh, Thomas Sparrow, who's in Merzbog, where the meeting between Putin and Merkel is underway. And here in the studio with me is our political correspondent, uh, Nina Haza. Uh, Thomas, I'd like to begin with you. Uh, we just mentioned that uh, Merkel and Putin saw each other recently in Sochi. So what exactly is the purpose of having this meeting so soon and uh, here in Germany today? Well, on the one hand, I think Angela Merkel recently survived an internal debate on migration, so she can now focus a bit more on foreign policy, which is one of her strengths, or at least is seen as one of her strengths internationally. And when we think about that role that she wants to play internationally, uh, one key partner, one key uh, player is obviously Vladimir Putin, partner on certain issues, but obviously uh, also an adversary on, on others. And you mentioned the key element uh, there. Angela Merkel wants to have an ongoing dialogue in order to discuss the issues where they do see eye to eye and the issues where they don't see eye to eye. Obviously, there have been developments, for example, in Syria, developments that Angela Merkel and Vladimir Putin also wanted to discuss. So that explains why they have been meeting uh, right here at Meseberg. That idea of the on going dialogue. Well, Emily, as we know, of course, uh, there's many issues where the two leaders do not see eye to eye, and specifically on the issue of Ukraine, Russia and the West have been at loggerheads for a very long time. In fact, Germany itself led the push to impose EU sanctions on Russia after it annexed Crimea. So is there any chance that Merkel and Putin will come to some sort of revolution, uh, resolution rather, on Ukraine? Well, I think, Marianne, unfortunately, that's uh, very unlikely uh, at this point. Um, and you could tell even from the statements today of Vladimir Putin really emphasized kind of economic issues. He also talked a lot about Syria. And Ukraine was kind of more of an afterthought. He did say, however, um, he did mention the idea of a U.N. monitoring mission. That's something that's been on the table for a while. Um, but um, both sides or the international community and Ukraine Ukraine and Russia can't really agree on the terms of that UN monitoring mission so far. Um, it seems like the two um, leaders will be probably concentrating on other issues, at least uh, if things go the way Vladimir Putin plans. Now, Nina, um, Thomas touched on this. So, you know, Merkel just recently survived a very messy domestic political crisis. Um, is her meeting with Putin sort of a statement from her end that she's back to business? That's right. Thomas touched upon it. Um, this crisis was all about the migration um, crisis and how Merkel has been dealing with the influx of refugees and migrants since 2015. She came under tremendous pressure from, her, from within her own party, um, but also from outside, from the far-right AFD. They're gaining strength. And uh, Angela Merkel narrowly escaped uh, the collapse of the government just a few weeks ago. So, essentially, um, Germany has been paralysed um, uh, for a year and a half, and Angela Merkel has had to focus on domestic issues and on uh, trying to keep the reins um, in place. And so now she does have um, a much better idea of um, um, being able to get back on the international stage. And Putin also knows that um, with Donald Trump as US president, his go-to person, if he wants to talk to the West, has to be Germany and can't be the US. So, yes, Angela Merkel is back on the international stage. Now, Emily, I'd like to uh, turn back to you. Uh, one of the main issues... Oh, do we have Emily Sherwin in Moscow? We don't? There she is. Emily, uh, if you can hear me, the, one of the main issues uh, on the agenda between Merkel and Putin is, of course, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which will bring uh, Russian gas directly to Germany. Uh, Putin uh, talked about it in his opening remarks to the media before they went into their bilateral closed-door meeting. He said it was exclusively an economic project. Um, what does he mean by this? Well, Mariana, Nord Stream 2 bypasses Ukraine, and Ukraine um, has repeatedly voiced concern about that, about their gas supply being in danger um, if uh, political tensions with Russia continue, um, and over them missing out on transit fees. Um, and uh, Merkel has come to Merseburg looking for assurances on um, that gas pipeline, um, and it seems that Putin handed her these um, on a platter, essentially. 
All right, Emily Sherwin reporting from Moscow. We have uh, Thomas Sparrow standing by in Merseburg near Berlin, where Putin and Merkel are holding closed door talks at this hour. And Nina Haza, DW's political correspondent, with me here in the studio. Many thanks to all three of you.